Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me, the ones who hate me. Kermani McLean, it was breaking news yesterday that he entered the transfer portal. Well, his mom actually ended up re responding to all the noise that was being said yesterday. And she had to say, quote, got to be somewhere where you're appreciated and not just tolerated. God, take the lead. We right behind y'all. So that just lets you know that they wasn't on the same page. Coach Prime has been very transparent about his coaching style. And Cormani, who was one of the top defensive backs last year, didn't really play too much at for Coach Prime in Colorado. Now, he would get in games, but Coach Prime said that, you know, he wasn't ready and Cormani has to learn how to be a college athlete. Well, there was speculation that he might transfer even early as last season, but of course he still stayed with the program. I mean, we did see a video of him training by himself and not with the team, but most of us assumed he was going to still be on the team. But look, let's talk about his mom real quick. That's her son at the end of the day, and I have no problem with them leaving and her even her saying what she's saying. The only thing that I wish would have happened is they would have sat on it for a little while, you know, several weeks before she put out that tweet, because you never know. Feelings might change. Emotions are just high right now. And, you know, now he got to figure out how to, what school he going to go to with a huge shift. And maybe they feel like they got a year wasted. But as Carmine get older, he'll look back and, you know, he'll understand, you know, it's business. And sometimes every coach ain't for everybody. You know, Coach Prime, like I keep saying, he's flashy. And we all know him as being the culture growing up. Everybody wanted to be like Prime. But he still has an old school way about himself. And a lot of kids just aren't used to that, honestly. And one more thing before I forget. And chat, please tell me if I'm, if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I've noticed I don't see a father figure. I mean, I don't know if his father's in his life or, you know, is deceased. But... This is where I think we also need good male figures in our lives, because even like with me, if I'd have been going through something like that with Coach Prime and I was second guessing myself and thinking about transferring, I would have called my father and he would have told me, no, you committed, you're going to stick through it, you know, or if we're going to transfer, we're going to transfer, but we're going to handle it like this way. But he probably would have made me stay for a couple of years, but I digress. But anyway, we, I, I really wish that. Or let me say this, I hope that he has male role, uh, mentors in his life that's helping him guide through this journey because I just, I, I don't see it. I see his mom, shout out to moms, you know, but I just, I never see a father or father figure or somebody standing next with, next to him. Even when he committed to Colorado, I didn't, I don't remember seeing a, a man there. I could be wrong. If y'all, if I'm wrong, tell me in the chat, but I just haven't seen it. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I mean, I wish him nothing but the best. And, you know, he can, he going to get him a free education and get some NIL money. So I, I get it. But tell me what y'all think.